All right, this video definitely needs an intro because the title probably has some of you thinking, what the f Oscar, didn't Kara already move out? And yeah, she did, you guys, but uh, secretly behind closed doors, Kira and I have been trying to work things out, and so she brought some of her stuff back. <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? The internet would go insane if that was the reality. Some of you guys would go ballistic. Um, I don't even know if I should have joked around about that. I thought it was funny and a good way to grab your guys' attention. Now I'm feeling kind of guilty because what if I got some of your guys' hopes up? But trust me, guys, this has been for the better. Anywho, when Kira originally moved out, she actually didn't take very much. She left me with pretty much all the furniture and all the big appliances we ever bought together, and I was super appreciative of that. It definitely made my life easier, the kids' lives easier, and it made us feel as normal as we could given the circumstances but recently she's been looking for a new place and so she asked me hey if there's anything you don't want I will gladly take and I told her you know what I'm planning on downsizing a lot so there's a lot of stuff in here that you could take if you want to come get it she was excited about that because now she doesn't have to spend money to buy all new things I'm excited about it because not only did I have to move it myself but I don't have to go through the hassle of trying to get rid of it and that right there is how we got into the situation that we are currently in now we can begin this video Kira wants these desks. I'm glad she's taking them. Alright, 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 relax. Don't be touching my stuff, alright? Jeez. Cheese and rice. Wait, come on, you're so slow. You make you just... Stop touching it. I don't know where those disgusting hands have been. <laughs> Ew! Give me my soul wipes right now. <laughs> alright, chill. Ow. No chill. What do you mean no chill? You oh, dude, did you hear that? T's got no chill. <laughs> I wake up at five thirty every morning. Anyway, yeah, seven thirty when the kids are here. Yeah, and I read. I start my morning with a good old read. Of course. Oh, clearly you're going through something. It's okay. Whatever you're going through, you'll be all right. <laughs> All right, so Kira got some movers, which I am so thankful for, or else it would be me and her dad moving this stuff. Oh yeah, we also have to give a massive shout out to Eric and Rhonda for coming all the way up to Utah to help us out. Y'all the true MVPs, and we truly appreciated it. So this is gonna be a huge help. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. All right, yeah, these are And would you look at that? We're making progress. But we still got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those muscles, man. You know, when I grow up, Eric, I want to be as big and as strong as you. Will you ever grow up? I don't think so, dude. I'm 25 and I still feel like an 18 year old. This is my deal. Okay, so much is happening at once. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally, huh? Too many moving pieces, but they're taking my mattress. Taking your bed. Go yeah, sleep on the floor from now. <laughs> I don't need it. Oh, yep. Pretty soon, this entire bed is going to be gone. And you know what? I'm not complaining about it because I'm looking forward to having like little camp nights out in the living room with the kids. I think they're going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. And that's all that matters. We're going to love it. Okay? Yeah, no, I don't need the washer and dryer either. I prefer to hand wash and air dry like in the old days, you know? You told me to take everything. <laughs> no, I did, guys. I actually, she's doing me a favor by taking everything out because then I don't have to figure out what to do with it or I don't have to move it myself. So, Kira's doing me a favor right now. Don't hate on her. That's my job. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's gross. You're making your dad do this? Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Because this is your stuff. This was our washing machine. You're taking it. Oh, not your white shirt. Oh, GG's. It was nice knowing you, white shirt. Listen, all jokes aside, I know you could take it. But what am I supposed to wash laundry with for the next month? You, I told you to do it at my place. I'll do it for you. You'll do it for me? Oh my god, you should have taken these like two months ago. What is your deal? <laughs> You're so funny. Do you make yourself laugh? Yes, that's why I make every joke in life, to make me laugh. People say you shouldn't laugh at your own jokes, but isn't that when they're the funniest? That's the reason why you make a you joke. You are the one who says you shouldn't laugh at your own jokes. You've made fun of me for years because I laugh at my own jokes. So, I'm confused. I don't think so. Holy crap, she literally filled up an entire 26 foot U-Haul and it doesn't even look like she took very much. Oh my gosh, like think about it, once I park the side by side back in here, it's gonna look just as cluttered and just as full. Plus the rest of the house honestly doesn't look any different. The biggest thing is that there's no rug in the living room and that looks kind of funny. Yeah, and there's no bed in my room and no bed downstairs, but that's it. Everything else is like... I have that much crap. How? Oh. Yeah, 
Oh and my I gosh. Did. I Mommy, saw that. Mommy said I could have it. Oh, did she? You're a beauty queen. Having her pack up all her stuff was supposed to make me feel better, but all it's done is made me feel worse. This house looks virtually the same. I mean, even my room looks the same. All I'm missing is the mattress. Holy crap, I have way more stuff to move than I originally thought. Oh no. All right, Levi said he's got something to show me. What is it? Oh, dude. You're doing that right here, right now? Oh my God. Hi, beautiful. You want makeup? Well, this makes a mess. We can't use that right now, okay? Yay. Because you, it makes a mess. Hi, by the way. I miss you. Can you give me that? Dude, that's going to fall out today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today. Oh my goodness. Look at this little girl. <laughs> you know you weren't supposed to do that. That's why you're looking at me like this. Oh. I specifically told you no makeup. You make a mess. You can hold it, but don't open it, okay? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean no? I'm not the one who did anything wrong. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. Just don't do it again, okay? Clean your hands. Your hands are yucky. I'm okay, all done. You look so pretty. <laughs> you look beautiful, okay? You know you're not supposed to do that, though. Okay, good news. I found this mattress ooh, 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 in the garage, which means I don't gotta sleep on the couch tonight. I mean, I was looking forward to having a sleepover with the kids in the living room, but this is better for everyone. Plus, I can still do that if I want to. Now I'm just not forced to, which is nice. I've already had a few people in my personal life ask me the same question. Whoa! Oh no, I don't have a box ring. That's gonna suck a oh. lot. That question being, why did Kira take the stuff I'm currently using, or why couldn't she just get new stuff? And honestly, that's because I didn't want her to. You see, I'm trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible and downsize where I can. Like this bed, for example, way too big for me, especially if I'm moving into an apartment. This amount of extra space might come in handy. Also with the washer and dryer, the apartments I'm looking at, they already come with a washer and dryer, so holding on to them would just be making her suffer and knowing her, she would get impatient and just buy new ones, which would be a waste of money because then I would have to get rid of the old ones. I mean, yeah, I could have kept them, had my life be a little more convenient for the next month or two and even sold them for a profit afterward once I was done using them. But I feel like that just would have been a little pitiful and spiteful of me considering that I truly don't want them and plus going through the hassle of trying to sell them is a pain. So why not just give them to her so she can use them right now? And plus, I kind of like the chaos. It's keeping my life interesting and exciting, and I never know what's gonna happen next. Exhibit A, I thought I was gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight, and turns out I get to sleep in a perfectly comfy mattress. This is an upgrade. I'm not thinking, oh man, I just lost my bed. I'm thinking, hell yeah, I don't gotta sleep on the couch tonight, which I was looking forward to anyways, because I was gonna make it fun by having the kids sleep in the living room with me. What I'm trying to say here is that it's all perspective, all right? I still got a roof over my head, I got food in the fridge, a loving family with me, and all these crazy experiences are just gonna be a part of a great story one day. That's pretty much it for this video though. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!